Okay, uh, I will talk a little bit, but I am expecting you to read and read, read quickly. Okay. This is a talk about Bruce Lee on programming. Because uh, you may not know, but Bruce Lee was very much into learning in his whole life. And as it turned out, he actually learned a little bit about programming. It was the early 70s, not quite the program we know today, but he did learn about programming. And it'll be very clear once you study his writings that he was, he, his, his, the things he, his writings are basically timeless and still apply today. So what did he have to say about coding? Not the daily increase, but the daily, I'm not going to read them all, you guys read them all. Um, but who hasn't done that, where you remove code instead of adding code, and you're like, oh, that is, that is wonderful. Also, this is where the word hacking came from. Uh, refactoring, he's completely correct about refactoring here. Uh, read fast. Prototyping, I like this one. He actually used to say it all the time, uh, call it dry land swimming. You, that, that, that gets you nowhere. Uh, no, one in, no one in the world is more in the zone than Bruce Lee, right? <laughs> Obviously. Uh, you, you must be in a relaxed state to be proficient. On object-oriented programming, this is one of my favorites. The more you value things, the less we value yourselves. <laughs> he, he was not a very, he didn't like object-oriented programming. Uh, also didn't like uh, design patterns. Uh, the truth is outside all fixed patterns. Agile, he's very much into agile. <laughs> Um, you can imagine how agile he needed to be. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Very, very much of a scrum there, yeah. Thank you. Oh, this was one, this one's from Jackie, uh, which I don't know, I, I was looking, I mean, you know, I've read all of Bruce Lee's writing, and I couldn't quite exactly find this quote. Found a quote that was very similar, but I assume this is completely correct, so. Uh, ownership semantics, this is very true. Like if you're, once you write a class, you, you have to decide in your mind first, what are the ownership semantics before you apply them to your code? Uh, bounce checking, um, turns out. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised by this, that he was against bounce checking, so I asked him about it, um, and he said this, there are no uh, limits, and you know, if, if your program dies, your program dies. Like. <laughs> Um, so that's, that's what he had to say about kind of programming in general, but what about C++ itself, right? He, he had things to say about C++ uh, in particular. Uh, standard variant, understood standard variant completely. In order to taste my cup of water, you must first empty your cup. Okay. Switching, the, switching the types on assignment and stuff. Uh, also, he was also, uh, you know, I asked him, uh, Matt asked me to ask him about regular void. I, he was, I don't know what the thing with the cups are. Like, he very often came up with cup stuff. Uh, he, also on the C++ community, many people don't know that. Yeah, yeah, cups are containers. I was gonna, I mean, my next container is gonna be called cup. Just, um, be not for nor against. I was surprised by this. I, he was, I thought he'd be more opinionated. But at least he was, he, didn't, he wouldn't take sides. He wasn't very political on the committee. That was nice. Um, Oh, this one, this move semantics. I, I didn't know this, I talked to Howard about this. It turns out he worked with Howard on move semantics. Um, but he didn't want to get, take credit, he was very. Um, and I read this one and honestly, I didn't understand it. <laughs> and so I asked Howard about it. And he explained it to me, because you know, Howard, I, the, I, I was actually happy, as long as Howard understood it, I was okay, because he moved semantics. But he said, look at vector and when you do a vector move. When you move in a vector, the, the underlying memory stays still. <laughs> it was, this was actually the insight that led to move semantics. Uh, default comparison, he was also concerned about this. I think it's what, what, when he left the committee. He's just like, you know what, it's just what it is. There's no compare, be peaceful. Oh, also the C++ core guidelines. Uh, obey the principles without being bound by them. Uh, including the principle of gravity. I guess it just <laughs> didn't really apply to him. Uh, okay, that's another talk. Same, same, same idea. Learn the rules like a pro break and like an artist. Uh, I need you in, in a minute. Um, this, is, this is what he had to say about um, uh, you know, how to be proficient, how to get efficient code. He's like, do not fight the compiler. Uh, just, just let the compiler do it. Write the code simply. And then, um, okay, here we go. Next slide. So 
if you look carefully, though, he's, he's on two fingers. <laughs> um, but, uh, but the goal has not always been to be reached. It often serves simply as something. So I, I'm aiming for the two fingers. I haven't got there yet, OK? Um, and actually, this is, this is real. I, I, this is how I code. Um, we have a problem at work, and it's like, well, what would we really love this code to look like in, at the end of the day? And we may never get there, but as you're coding along, just try to head in the right direction. Uh, coding style. <laughs> and I agree with this. I, I've given up having a coding style. I just go with whatever's there. Uh, oh, yeah. On getters and setters, it's not what you give, it's the way you give it. I, I, I have pictures for this. It's not what you give, it's the way you give it. And yes, that was Chuck Norris, and I'm sure you want to see that again. <laughs> oh, since this, this you know, had so many other languages during this conference, I, he had something to say about other languages. Do not deny. This is, you know, fighting off other languages. Uh, and, uh, okay, this has nothing to do with coding. I just think it's a good quote. Um, and be like you. <laughs> That's it.